In this video, what I'm going to be doing is going over some of the latest work in progress mods to get teased or updated for Fallout 4. These are mods by various mod authors in the community that are currently a work in progress, probably coming out in the next few months or weeks, and a lot of them actually look really cool. One mod in particular that earned the spot as the title of this video is awesome. It's got a 10 minute gameplay trailer type thing, and I think you're going to get pretty excited for it. In the past, I know a lot of you guys have really enjoyed horror mods for Fallout 4, and I think this might just be one of the best horror mods I've ever seen. Either way, if you guys do enjoy the content, you can leave a like or subscribe. Also, if you for some reason don't own Fallout 4 or all of its DLC, it's actually heavily discounted on Green Man Gaming right now, and first-time buyers could actually get an additional 15% off the sale price if you use the code HELLO15. They did provide me with the new Wolfenstein game, but just in general, there's some pretty awesome deals here. I will have my affiliate link down below if you do want to check it out, as well as I will get a kickback if you buy anything. But let's first take a look at Grim, the new upcoming horror overhaul mod for Fallout 4. I originally showed you guys an image set to go along with this mod a few weeks ago, and it looked awesome. But seeing it in action, seeing the video, the music, all of that, is what really brings it together, because that's one of the big focuses of this mod. This is going to be a new horror-based DLC-sized mod for Fallout 4, and actually brings a lot of different things to the table. Some of you may immediately draw comparisons to Pilgrim. This is an older horror mod that was out for the game. The mod author behind Grim was actually actually the same mod author to develop the music and weathers for Pilgrim. So one of the first things this mod's going to do that'll probably really stand out to you is the visuals. As you can tell by the background footage, it's going to have a pretty profound visual change, but you actually have a lot of freedom in customizing and tweaking this to your liking, or actually just turning it off altogether if you want to go that route. You can see several of these options in the gameplay video. I'm just showing you snippets of this, although I will have it linked down below, and I really encourage you guys to check out the full thing because there's a lot of cool stuff in there. I would say just about all of the presets definitely have a horror tone or theme, but kind of different shades of the same theme. There are also going to be edits to interior lighting all throughout Fallout 4, and you'll also have customization options with this, but it's built in a way that it will be compatible with other interior lighting mods. But outside of that, there also will just be various visual effects that'll pop up on screen when certain things happen with this mod, which I'll talk more about those special things that could happen a little later in the video. And although the visual aspect of this mod is definitely pretty cool, it definitely sets the tone overall, it still has a lot more going for it. As I mentioned before, there'll be several new weathers. We don't see a ton of this in the gameplay. We get a glimpse here and there, but overall, what really stood out to me was the sound effects and really the music to go along with this mod. Rather than trying to explain why it's so cool, I figure I'll just let you listen to some of the segments that really stood out to me. I think in particular what I like about this is it's really a culmination, whether it be the weather or some kind of other in-game event happening, it ties together with the music to create an all-around experience. You're not just hearing the music, but you're having something else go on also to complement it. Some of that music definitely gets you a little bit tense, heightening the fear aspect of this mod. But that still isn't all, as this actually is bringing in several new in-game mechanics, new creatures, and even new armors and weapons, although that's not really shown off in this video. So when using the in-game menu, outside of just the visual, weather, and sound options, you're going to also have something called the curse. What it's going to do is actually enable some of these new creatures and gameplay aspects. This will lead to the spawning of several terrifying monsters and creatures all throughout Fallout 4, as well as several other interesting mechanics. It's shown and described that when your character is actually cursed, you'll experience an alternate reality and actually have to enter into an escape hell. We see some gameplay of this in action, and it looks extremely promising. There's actually one segment where you go to the original house that you spawn in in Fallout 4. We can see what looks like a zombie Nora, as well as here some pretty spooky or scary baby cries that might be a little bit more than baby cries. This seems like it's actually going to be a really interesting component of this mod, but even outside of that, also shown in the gameplay is just a lot of the various creatures you'll encounter, many of which look really cool and promising. The Fallout 4 modding scene in general doesn't have a lot of options when it comes to custom or aftermarket creatures, and these look pretty cool, definitely well done and fitting into the game pretty well with the rest of this horror experience. But speaking overall, this mod looks 
awesome. It really looks like it's going to be a complete package. A lot of times when I cover a horror mod, I'll try and add on several additional mods to really complete the experience, but with this one, it doesn't really seem like you'll need to. It seems like maybe just download this, a couple of weapon mods, and you're pretty much good to go. You're going to have a distinctively scarier game. And even though I already showed you a lot and this gameplay shows you a lot of the mod, it seems like there's still a lot more coming. We get a tease at one of the new NPCs you can see at the end of this, as well as we don't really see too many of those new armor, weapons, or even some of the new quests that will be coming with this. And also in the description of this gameplay trailer, we actually hear that more videos and a release date will be released soon. So this definitely looks like something to look forward to at least somewhat in the near future. Although outside of that, there are several other mods to be recently teased or shown off for Fallout 4 that I did want to show you guys because a lot of them are pretty cool and probably will fit in well with this first mod. We actually get a look at a work in progress shoulder mounted machine gun coming to Fallout 4. This of course being one of the most distinctive and unique weapons from Fallout New Vegas and it looks really cool and actually really well done already. We get a look at the base version as well as some of the skins that will be available for it, including a Nuka-Cola Quantum skin that also looks really cool. I think a weapon mod like this actually has a lot going for it, assuming it has a nice integration and hopefully some custom animations. Fallout 4 right now doesn't have a lot in the way of heavy weapons, and even in the modding scene, it's definitely not one of the more popular categories to get releases. That coupled with the fact that a lot of us are going to have a lot of nostalgia around this weapon because anything from Fallout New Vegas pretty much has nostalgia around it, means that I think this one's going to be very popular with a lot of people looking forward to it. But we also get an update around Peace. I've been talking about Peace quite a bit, but this is going to be is a mod trying to incorporate several new systems to make Fallout 4 just a bit more realistic, one of which is actually going to be an encumbrance overhaul. Now just increasing your strength isn't going to increase your carry weight dramatically, but it's going to increase your carry weight potential dramatically. You can hold a much heavier bag, but you're going to need a bag to store all your stuff in. Here we get a look at some of the various various backpacks or satchel bags that will actually be added with this. And a cool mechanic with this, several of these backpacks will actually have some other kind of downside to them, such as decreasing your agility, although there are workarounds depending on which backpack you use or having other perks to offset that. And one of the cool parts is, although we get a look at some of those more traditional backpacks, we also get some less traditional ones that will probably drastically increase our carry weight, but have other downsides, of course, associated with them. And just in general, I think kind of look cool in a post-apocalyptic setting. And I know I've said it many times already, but I'm really excited excited for this mod. I really like making my Fallout 4 more realistic, I just enjoy experiencing the game that way, and I think the encumbrance overhaul being showcased here is actually pretty cool. It seems like it'll make the game at least slightly more difficult, fundamentally changing up that mechanic, but not making it ridiculously difficult. Still enjoyable, still a video game, but at the same time just adding a few more steps involved to really get to that same carry weight you can get in vanilla Fallout 4. Outside of that, we actually see some updates on the Capital Wasteland Combat Armor. This is being developed by Cypher, but is part of the larger mod, the Capital Capital Wasteland project, which is recreating Fallout 3 and Fallout 4's engine. And as you can see, these look pretty cool. Again, another one that's probably going to bring back a lot of nostalgia. There's not much to say about it. Some of the different skins and variants definitely look cool, and just the armor in general looks particularly cool, and I'm excited to get it in-game and hopefully integrate it into some of the level lists to make the game look a little bit more like some of the previous Fallouts. And then we actually have the Sci-Fi Colt Revolver, and this looks really cool. I actually really like the design of this one. What this is, is a major up weapon, but heavily inspired by existing weapons. There's not too many details about this. This is actually an out of engine render, but apparently it soon will be coming to an in-game version. I've always been a huge fan of revolvers in Fallout 4, but the style and visuals of this one is probably up there as one of my favorites, and I'm excited to track the progress of it. Then we do have the BR-55 service rifle. Many of you guys probably recall that the Misraya Armory mod for Fallout 4 came out not too long ago. This is actually a separate mod from the same mod author, a two-weapon pack that will be coming out also in the next few days days to a week. And well, put simply, if you've played Halo, you probably know what the BR is. It is one of the most iconic weapons from the franchise and definitely one of the most enjoyable to use. With this version, you can definitely see some of the customization options, and it just looks in general cool. If it's even remotely as high quality as the rest of the Misraya Armory, it is definitely something to look forward to. And we also get a few extra screenshots of the other weapon that'll be included in this two weapon pack. Then we have several images of a new outfit coming from Newer Mind 43. As of right now, it doesn't seem like this actually has a title, but he's been posting several work in progress screenshots of it. And although it's probably not what I would typically use on my character, I know there's definitely a big audience for mods like this, and I did want to show it off because in general, it just looks pretty cool. But then finally, last but not least, we actually do have a MP5 retexture. So right
right now, Ice Storm actually has an MP5 out. It's definitely not the greatest. It could use some work, and well, it's actually getting some work in the form of a retexture by the same mod author. That's what these new and updated screenshots are. You can see it actually looks quite a bit better, and just in general, looks pretty freaking good. And actually, a very lore friendly weapon. The MP5 appeared in some of the OG Fallout, so even though it does fit into that modern firearm category that we see with a lot of Fallout 4 weapon mods, this one has a little bit of extra lore backing to go with it. So, yeah, that's an update on some of the various work in progress mods coming to Fallout 4 in the next few weeks, months, or maybe even years, but hopefully not. If you guys enjoyed the content, you can leave a like or subscribe. 